What's up gamers, it's time for the Sandbox news. VR tracker support was added this week. If you don't know what those are, they're little pucks that can be tracked just like your VR controllers. They usually don't have any buttons on them though, and most of the time they're used for full body tracking. So I decided to make that. I set up a mostly functional full body tracking system only a couple hours after trackers were added. It's a work in progress. The animations aren't completely perfect yet, but I'm working on it. I'm setting this up to work with VR chat avatars. Here I'm using my friend Sadly It's Bradley's avatar. We actually have access to every tracked object, including base stations. So I guess you could use those for a game mode. Here we can see floating menu elements in this clip Gary shared. You can also type into it. I believe this is intended for VR because currently there isn't really a way to make menus in VR, but it'll also work for non-VR. Idle animations were added for the SMG and shotgun. They look so realistic. Construct was updated, so now we can actually run into these benches and they'll properly break. Previously, I believe these were static models and they didn't actually break. Also over here, we can see this wall was detailed. It's so realistic. Truly a work of art. They added uh, animation in the main menu, so when you hover over the escape button, the player model does this pose. Yeah! The RTS game mode has received a ton of updates, including a name change. Or maybe it wasn't changed, maybe it stood for this all along. Real Terry strategy. Also, we're provided some more information when we're joining servers, so we can see how much has been downloaded so far and the total amount, which I guess hasn't been set up yet. They added a very basic starting menu. This game mode now supports up to four different teams with up to four players, and it doesn't have to be one player per team. It could be 2v2 or 3v1. I added a bot, now I can click the ready button and start the game. A lot of quality of life changes were made, for example, the first command center you build now builds instantly, and we can hold shift and queue up commands for our units. There is a ton of other improvements too. For example, the resources actually have a glow now, so you can easily see them. I've actually playtested this, I think, five times. I've actually won every single game. So currently, I am the Sandbox RTS World Champion. Undefeated. What is defeated though is this video. It's over. There's no more sandbox news. Like, comment, and subscribe. Next week's sandbox news video is actually going to be a little different from normal, so keep your eye out. Also, you should watch this video I made on a sandbox zombies game mode that I'm working on.